Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top 20-ish Bath & Body Works fall body mist. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the body mists I think are perfect for the season, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Oshumare. On this channel, I talk about all things smell good. So if you're into smelling good, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. All right, you guys, so I know this video is super late, but listen, better late than never, right and i really wanted to kind of get a feel for all these body mists and be well into the fall and see what i'm really reaching for before i got on here and share with you guys what i think the top body mist would be now that i've been playing around in these i've had them on a few of my trays i'm like yeah i'm pretty confident about all of these and we're going to start off with one that i feel like every woman girl needs in their collection for the fall time and this is strawberry snowflakes this is the one i think from the original packaging but i'm not quite sure but y'all, this is so pretty. It smells like strawberries and whipped cream. Super soft, girly, a little dainty. Y'all, this is just like frosted strawberries. If strawberry pound cake is doing a little too much for you, I would definitely give this one a try because it kind of has that Burberry elixir type of feel to it. Super, super pretty and perfect for right now. So once again, this is strawberry snowflakes. Next we have marshmallow pumpkin latte. And this is one I have to have in every version that it comes out into, just like strawberry snowflakes. It's like the perfect combination of marshmallow gooeyness with a little pumpkin and a little like latte on the side. It's super, super cozy, pretty. It can kind of be unisex lean too. So I could see you maybe spritzing your sheets with this or maybe, you know, spritzing your man with this as well. But it's really just something that I like to just smell on myself and drift off to sleep in. Or if it's super cold out, I love putting this one on. And it goes with, you know, Thanksgiving pumpkin patches and all those pumpkin related things. So it's perfect. It's perfect for right now. Once again, this is marshmallow pumpkin latte next we have a bonfire bash and i feel kind of bad sharing this with you guys because usually they bring this one back year after year but they have yet to bring this one back this year i think i have maybe one backup of this one but i don't understand why they would take this one away because this is a, a love i think in here you have vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk and it smells somewhat similar to beach nights but it's a little more smoky and does smell like you're sitting by like a bonfire oh y'all this is so sexy it's a beautiful fun scent the bourbon in here is so nice kind of has like a toasted feel to it and mixed with that creamy sandalwood i hope they bring it back maybe closer to december i don't know but if you see it i would definitely suggest it once again this is bonfire bash next we have champagne apple and honey this is one that grew on me a lot last year prior to last year i went crazy about this but i don't know something happened and i was just like woo that champagne and that apple mix is really really nice smells like the name exists exactly with a little honey sprinkles in there so this is kind of like a good one for now but then also going into the new year you can maybe mix this one with um champagne toast that would be a really nice combination so once again this is champagne apples and honey this is another one that i feel really bad talking about but i can't not talk about it because it's so good you guys and if you miss this one you missed it because i think they only brought it out one time and then that was it but this is wrapped in vanilla y'all i'm almost done with this bottle you see you see how quickly you see that juice i mean i literally have i think like two or three back oh like two backups of this you guys but this was one of the best uh, in my opinion i i think it was the best vanilla from bath and body works oh because it's just oh it's like creamy whipped vanilla chiffon i think there's some vanilla creme in here what is this soft vanilla velvet sugar and chantilly creme oh it's like the perfect combination of sweet flirty but smooth you know you could wear this so many different ways to bed in the house hanging out with whoever date night oh so so pretty so i hope they bring this one back at some point but if you have it in your collection then definitely pull her on out if you have it in your collection i'm sure you already pulled this one out and you've been wearing it but as it's starting to get colder and colder this is perfect next we have sweet whiskey and if you don't know this one smells just like commodities milk the expressive version so if you know what that smells like 
This smells just like it, you guys, and the longevity is just as good. It's a beautiful mix of vanilla and whiskey. There's some berries in here. You have a little amber. Even though there's no marshmallow listed in this one, you can't tell me there's not some type of marshmallow gooey note in here, like way in the background that they didn't list on here. If you love you a good lactonic whiskey vanilla moment, sweet whiskey is perfect. This is just the packaging from a few years ago, but they bring this one out like every single year. So once again, this is sweet whiskey. This next one is one that I have on my body mist tray this month. I don't know if that video has come out yet, but y'all will see it on there when it does come out. But this is ice lemon pound cake. So y'all, I usually don't pull this one out until it's like December, like December and January, because that's when it's super, super cold. It's, you know, I mean, it's still Southern California, so it's not like, you know, like snowing or anything. It smells very realistic to ice lemon pound cake or like a ice lemon dump cake, like a really thick dump cake ugh, with a whole bunch of lemon icing on top sprinkled with like some real lemons in there. Oh my goodness. This is so just enjoyable. It's fun. It's soothing, very comforting, which I definitely need some comfort right now. So I ended up putting this on with the matching body cream, slathered it all over my body and then went to sleep y'all with the biggest smile on my face from ear to ear. Uh, so yes, if you've never tried this one or if you have it, pull it out. Once again, this is ice lemon pound cake. She is so delicious. Next we have one that is perfect for date night and this is whipped rose and vanilla y'all very just like sultry seductive oh just smells very deep and dark and sexy if you like fragrances like roses vanille from mansara this one smells very very similar smells like rose petals dipped in chocolate and sprinkled in with some cocoa oh my gosh usually they bring this one out for sas or like around December ish. So if you guys don't have this in your collection, once you see it, I would definitely say get it. Just take a screenshot of the name or if you don't see it for SAS, they always have it on like Macari, eBay, things like that. I'm so happy that I have a backup of this, but y'all I don't have a lotion or a cream and I wish I did, but I'm so happy that at least I have this in my collection because I have to pull it out every single fall and winter. So once again, this is whipped rose and vanilla. I love, I mean, I adore this next one. I just, whenever I just need just some type of like a hug in a bottle, I always reach for this y'all. And this is Fireside Flurries. And this is another one that I feel like they used to bring back, but they didn't bring back last year. I think I got this one two years ago, y'all. It's so pretty. I think there's some lavender in here with like some marshmallow. I guess I could read the notes. Toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere wood. I love me a good cashmere wood note. Of course I knew I love me some lavender, but everything that I've been pulling out lately has some type of cashmere and like some marshmallow in it. But y'all, this is super fluffy, girly, and just uh, perfect for watching holiday movies. So once again, this is Fireside Flurries. Another one that's kind of along the same lines as that is one they came out with last year that I was hoping they were gonna come back out with this year but as bath and body works sometimes does they didn't bring it back out and this is fresh vanilla blossom so this is like oh a super delicate sweet pretty type of scent oh my goodness it's a really nice twist on a vanilla body mist fragrance Oh, it's really, really cute though. If you love you a pretty dainty, kind of perfumey type of vanilla, then I would definitely check this one out if you see it. Once again, this is Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. This next one is like a no brainer. I have backups on top of backups of this because I love this DNA too. And this is Fall in Bloom. And I think this is the one that came out, was it last year? Or it might've been two years ago, but y'all, they all smell exactly the same to me. Oh yeah, another pretty girly, easy type of reach. If you just wanna smell like a beautiful woman, these are the type of scents that you should have in your collection. And thank goodness, I think they've been bringing this one back since they brought it out. If you don't know, this one smells just like the original Burberry Her. So if you love that DNA, I would definitely check out Fall in Bloom. Next we have another sweet girly type of fragrance that, oh, it's perfect if you love you some berries or some raspberries. And this is Blush Cardigan. This one came out a couple years ago as well. And this one smells like raspberries dipped in some whipped cream but it's like a gooey like it's almost like raspberry paste in here you have sweet raspberries sugar dip violet and warm amber and violet is another note that 
I've been loving in so many fragrances. It just smells super pretty, creamy, fluffy. Y'all, this is amazing. And it's another one I wish they would bring back, but you know, what can you do? Don't have a, wait, do I have a lotion to, I think I do have a lotion to this, but it's probably going old, so I need to use it. And I'm kind of surprised I don't have more of a dent in this one, but I'm definitely gonna be putting a dent in this one this fall and winter. Once again, this is Blush Cardigan. Next, we have one that a lot of people weren't a fan of last year when it came out. And I think that this one came out a couple years ago as well. When I got it last year, I thought it was so good. And this is Leaves. This is a very spicy, clove forward type of apple fragrance. I would say more so it's all about the cloves and the spices in this one over the apple. If you know what the candle smells like, this smells just like that. So it may be a little too strong for you, but I think it is the perfect type of fragrance to pull out for right now because it literally smells like fall. So once again, this is leaves. Next, we have another snuggly type of fragrance and this is Sweater Weather. The perfect name, y'all, just reminds you of having some type of either thick blanket on with some thick fuzzy socks and oh, a sweater or like a thick scarf. Maybe you're like staying in the woods somewhere or it's just really cold where you are. Maybe it snows, it's like a snowy day, you know? And you're like, oh, who's making some hot chocolate? Or oh, I need some coffee, I need some tea. This is that type of fragrance, super pretty. I think this one has some cashmere in here too. In here you have some apples, there's some autumn leaves, you have some orchard woods. It's calming. Oh, your skin but better. Those type of fragrances always get me every single time. And I have so many versions of Sweater Weather because I just never want to be without it. <laughs> so once again, this is Sweater Weather. We might as well just do all of the cozy type of fragrances all at once. So the next one is one that I fell in love with this year. I think it was new this year too. And this is Milk. Y'all smells just like breast milk to me, y'all. Smells just like it if you know what that smells like. Listen, I breastfed my son Mm, until he was like one and a half and I pumped so much milk y'all like I was one of the mamas like on YouTube that had like ounces and ounces of stored milk just so that if me and my husband wanted to go anywhere I didn't have to worry about you know him drinking any other type of milk even though I'm not against formula or anything like that but you know just you know the more milk the merrier and I'm telling y'all this smells so similar to that or just like some sweetened type of milk at the bottom of your cereal very realistic to the name so once again this is milk and the last comfy cozy fragrance that I think is perfect for the fall time is cozy season y'all oh my goodness so oh this is one that I'm so sad that I slept on because you know, I think when it came out, there were so many other things that I had never smelled. And so I only grabbed one body mist, didn't get the lotion, and I am regretting it ever since then because I have never seen it again. But you guys, if you are not familiar with this, if you love Killian's Princess, this is a dupe for that. This smells so similar, y'all. Every time I put on Killian's Princess, I'm like, man, wow, I need to wear this more. And it's the same type of thing with this one. In this one, you have soft lavender, golden honey, and creamy oak. Those notes really don't add up to what's in Princess, but I'm telling you, side by side, they smell just alike. Oh, so pretty will help you just drift right off to sleep or just be really nice for someone to be sitting right next to you and smell it. So once again, this is cozy season. Next, we have one that is like a perfume, y'all. This one is so sultry, sexy, and good. And this is Vanilla Mocha Martini. I think this is another one that was like a one and done, or at least, no, no, no. They brought this one back, I think, before I got this one. But y'all, I haven't seen it since. I mean, where is it at? But the way this one projects, the way this one will have people thinking you have a perfume on is insane. And it goes so well with my coffee fragrances, my vanilla fragrances. In this one, you have some cappuccino, vanilla orchid, you have some white tonka bean. But that cappuccino is very, very prominent. You get hit with that one like smack dab as soon as you spray it. This is a really strong, beastly fragrance. So if you're looking for that from your body mist and you have this, I would say pull it out. It's perfect for right now. Once again, this is vanilla mocha martini. This is another super beastly, perfumey type of body mist. And this is Wicked Vanilla Woods. This one, oh gosh, what's the name of the perfume that it smells like? It smells very similar to like the Seven Virtues um, Vanilla Woods, but like an amped up version, but it more so smells very similar to Grand Soir from MFK. So if you know you like that DNA and you see this one, I don't think they have it available anymore, but if you have it, I would say pull it out. This is perfect for going out with your girls, hanging out just late nights, doing your thing. This year, I think, when they came out with this one, they also came out with 
vanilla mocha martini and then another one that's over here and then something else oh wrapped in vanilla i already did that one but that year what was that 2022 that was such a good year for bath and body works they need to run another year like that back because ugh, we were all loving all of those releases that year but yeah so once again this is wicked vanilla woods next we have another seasonal one that came out this year and this is candy apple cauldron and y'all this is such a fun green apple you guys like a juicy green apple oh my gosh if you love that just like candiness from like a glazed apple you would love this one i have this in the is it the hand soap y'all and every time i wash my hands or my son washes his hands we're all like oh this smells so good mysterious green apple <laughs> simmering sugar and crystallized bergamot it just smells like a green apple you guys a green apple with a whole bunch of sugar on it and like a glaze it's really really fun and just you know apples are really nice to wear for the fall time so i'm definitely going to be wearing this one a whole lot this season once again this is candy apple cauldron and last but not least before we get into the honorable mentions which i'm just gonna go really fast is pumpkin swirl cake you guys this in all forms the lotion the shower gel that shower gel especially this smells so good very realistic to one of your favorite coffee cakes from Starbucks. Oh, yeah, y'all, that is a really good one. So if pumpkin pecan waffles is doing way too much for you, it's way too thick, you know, you don't want to smell like no syrup or no waffles. This is like a gorgeous blend of everything. It doesn't have that cakiness to it. You know, you still getting that pumpkin in here, but I think the toffee in here just kind of cuts through all of that sweetness, even though toffee is sweet too. I don't know, it just gives it a little something extra. That toffee is so, so pretty. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray just a little bit of this on me too. After this video, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. It's kind of soft, it's not a beast type of fragrance. It's just like a really pretty seasonal pumpkin type of scent. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we see a whole lot of toffee notes in our body mist. So this was a really fun surprise. So once again, this is pumpkin swirl cake. Okay, so those are my top 20, but I have five honorable mentions. <laughs> the first one is Midnight Amber Glow. So I didn't put this one in because it's way too similar to vanilla mocha martini. But if you're looking for something that still gives you that same type of vibe, but is just more subdued, then I would definitely check Midnight Amber Glow out. Or if you have it, I would say pull it out. It smells very similar to um, the only one from Dolce & Gabbana. So if you like that, then you would love this. So even though it's not on my top 20, I'm always reaching for this one in the fall time. Another one that I love, this is one I fell in love with last year. And when I discovered what it smelled like, it became even more of a love. And this is Pink Suede. This is like a sugared chiffon type of fragrance. Mm, there's some oh, peonies in here, which peony is very like spring, summer forward, but mixed with, I think, the berries. And then I think there's some type of cotton in here. Yep, soft cotton, velvet peonies, and blush berries. Mm, yeah, this is a sexy one. This is really pretty pretty and if you overspray it it's really really strong too and i love the packaging just looks like you know it's like a celebration in a bottle so yeah love this one for the fall really all year round but i start pulling it out in the fall time another one that's kind of like a no-brainer i mean everybody pulls this one out right now <laughs> this is fairy tale and if you're new to fragrances this smells just like libre the original one to me Mm, y'all and it wears just like y'all this smells just like it man but the year they came out with this version of it in this packaging is when they came out with the wrapped in vanilla the midnight amber glow the mocha i mean that was such a good year y'all and i'm so sorry that i keep on talking about it but it was just so freaking good so yeah fairy tale is a must-have for the fall time this next one is one that i kind of start pulling for when it's winter but because of the name it's like how am i not gonna have this one in a fall video and this is called pumpkin cupcake you guys and i usually don't gravitate towards this one right now because it doesn't really smell like pumpkins at all you guys it mainly just smells like a soft cupcake like a really fluffy yummy cupcake Mm -hmm. you do get like a soft whiff of that pumpkin but you barely detect it it's one of those fragrances that you want to reach for if you want just like a touch of sweetness but you don't want it to be like way too gourmand pumpkin cupcake is perfect for that and i don't know if they came out with this one last year and i only have one of these so i hope they bring it back because i would like a lotion to it so once again this is pumpkin cupcake she's cute and then last but not least this is one that i just discovered this year this one has come out 
for years, I think, but for whatever reason, I just never paid attention to it. And then I got it in my collection like a couple weeks ago and I was like, this is really a good one too. And this is Magic in the Air. This is another one that's kind of like your skin, but better you guys. Oh, I mean, it's kind of fresh. Kind of reminds me of like fall and snow a little bit. Reminds me of like crystals or something like that, but it's very sparkly. It's a little fluffy. I think you have a little vanilla in here. Yeah, you have some vanilla, you have some sandalwood. Ooh, you have some almond flour and I love me a good almond moment, but you really don't detect almond in here like that. If you wanna put something on and not really smell like you tried too much, then I think Magic in the Air would be perfect for that. Or if you're just not into gourmands for the fall season, I would definitely check this one out. It's in stores right now. So once again, this is Magic in the Air. All right, you guys, so that is it. Those are all the fragrances that I'm gonna be pulling for nonstop all throughout the fall and have been, because I, you know, I know we've been in fall for a good two months now. <laughs> it is about to be winter, but because we're so far into it, I know you guys have at least a good top five that you guys have been reaching for over and over again. So drop it down below, let's talk about it. If you guys that like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Share it with a friend or two, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And as usual, take care of yourself. God bless you all, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.